such a difficult fight. Yeah, but can the chat What's up guys? We're at Range Country Lodging here in Murdo, South Dakota. I'm doing a little prep work today for my archery antelope hunt coming up. We're going to do all spot and stock. It's kind of a fan favorite for me. And I'm going to be taking you through a few things that I'm doing to prep to increase my odds of success this year. Now the first one that I was kind of weak at last year was popping up over my decoy and shooting quick. Last year I had a couple opportunities that I just aimed too long and the, bus, the goat busted out on me. So that's one of the things I'm working on this year. So I got my, got my trusty decoy and I'm just setting it up here at about 25 yards. Now that's my warm up range. So as I'm shooting this summer, I'm gonna build up to 65, 70 yards. That's, that's, my, that's my long range shooting there with my bow. So starting off 25 yards, just getting my decoy in. Last year, Matt was running the decoy for me quite a bit. And I would just sneak in right behind him and pull up and shoot. So one way that I see increasing my chance of success this year is by just being a little quicker on the aim and a little quicker on the fire. So. That's what I'm working on. Quick aim, quick release. Let's get in first arrow here. We're gonna all kill shots. Here we go. Quick aim, quick release. That's the thing when you're out there in the field too. Get a little adrenaline going, get a little excited. Things don't always go as planned. So you gotta, before you even draw back, you gotta be in your zone. Get in your zone. Yeah. All right, that group was so much better. That was my third set. Everything, nice grouping in the kill zone. That's my first tip for you guys. If you've never done any spot stock style hunting at all, let alone antelope out on the prairie, this is a great tip. This is going to help your chances of success. Quick aim, quick release over top of a decoy.